This exhibit really is an interpretation of the visuals that supported the actor, whether it be on the professional vaudeville stage, it might be in the opera house in some small little town in North Dakota, or perhaps it might be uh, the fraternal stage, which was sort of the latter part of that movement. So the whole purpose of this exhibit is to get you here, to give you a sense of what is unique in this set of collections, but more importantly, to have you fully understand that at that time, it was fun. It's didactic, you know, it kind of it makes you feel excited for the show or for the world that they're trying to create, or even from a historical lens, what they imagined back then as this fantastic world or these fantastic places that they were you know, trying to bring to life on stage. This country has always been highly commercial, so when these studios were established, they basically were to create a product, create a product at the most inexpensive way that they could, and get the product from point A to point B. The scenic artists of the time, they didn't, they didn't write any of this down. It was very much an apprenticeship, and it was passed, passed down from person to person through practice. The only real record we have of what the work was that they actually did and their techniques is their sketches and the drops themselves. Understanding that sort of lost art of scene painting is so critical and the only way that our students, unique to the University of Minnesota I might say, can achieve that is through both an understanding of the collections as well as an attempt to duplicate. What we have in the exhibit cases are the drawings, the renderings, and the sketches that the artisans used to make these backdrops. But until you really see one, uh, like this behind me, you don't get the sense of how large they really are and, and what an interesting craft and talent that it takes. And so the scene behind me with the life-size cutouts and the drop uh, it gives a sense of scale and what you would see if you walked into one of these scenic production facilities. It was great fun and it is the basis for much of Disney, it is the basis for much of what we consider today as being entertainment centered uh, values such as Pixar or any of the 3D movies that you might see almost all have their roots in sort of this visual aesthetic which is so much a part of this exhibit.